Hey everyone, we're going to start a little series of videos on algebraic fractions. Now what does that mean? All that means is we have fractions but we have algebra or letters or variables embedded in the fraction. Okay, and we're going to learn to deal with those. Alright, so first thing we want to look at is simplifying. So we're going to simplify algebraic fractions. So I thought we'd start looking at how we simplify fractions. Just the regular fractions you would, you would know with just regular numbers inside. Okay, so we've got 15 over 18 or 15 18s and we should all know that this simplifies to make 5 sixths, right? And we, we would probably think about it as well if you can divide both 15 and 18 by 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5 and 18 divided by 3 is 6 so then we can get 5 sixths. But there's another way we can think about this, right? If we split up 15 into factors and do the same with 18 as shown, okay? You can see we've got 3 times 5 would be the 15, and 3 times 6 gives us the 18, right? So we can say that those fractions are equal. Right? Take that away just now, just to make it a little bit more clear, alright? So we've taken the 15, and we've split it up into factors, so we've got 3 times 5, and we've taken the 18 and split it into factors, so we've got 3 times 6. And what we can do in maths is because we know that 3 over 3 is 1, Okay. If we've got the same thing at the top in the numerator and the same thing in the denominator at the bottom, then what we can do is we can cancel those out. Okay. So the same thing in the numerator and in the denominator can cancel out because we know that 3 over 3 is 1. So it cancels. All right? So then we're just left with 5 over 6. Okay. So that's really the maths behind what's happening here with our simplification, right? So 15 eighteenths to 5 sixths, okay? We're going to look at one more, right? And then it'll hopefully become a little bit more clear, right? So, if we have, we'll take a really simple one, right? So we'll go um, 30 over 70, okay? If we write that down in terms of factors, we're going to have um, 10 times 3, on the top, and then 10 times 7 on the bottom. Cancel the 10s, because 10 over 10 is 1, right? So that's 1 times 3 sevenths, giving us 3 sevenths. So it's all around this concept of we can split numbers into factors, we know we can already do that, and also the concept that 3 over 3 is 1, 10 over 10 is 1, okay? Right, so let's extend this into algebra, okay? A couple of examples, right? So, we have 2x over 8x squared. So let's split this up, right? Let's split it up. So we're going to have 2 times x on the top, okay? 2 times x on the top. 8x squared, this is going to be 8 times x times x. Okay? So 8 multiplied by, sorry, 2 multiplied by x on the top, and then 8x squared is 8 multiplied by x multiplied by x. Okay? Now what we can do, if you watch very carefully, is we can cancel 1x from the top and 1x from the bottom, like this. Look. Okay? So 1 from each side. Right? One from the top, one from the bottom. We can't cancel two, because it's like an equation, we've got to keep it equal, right? Because it's going to be x over x is one, right? So we're using this concept of x over x being one, okay? Now, this leaves us with two over eight x. And I can simplify that further. Now I'm sure that you guys could do this in your head, all right? Um, but we should know that two, over 8 is 1 quarter, or 1 fourth. So that's what's left there. I can go over this with you further if you want. I've basically used the same concept as you used in, in the beginning. Right? So basically the same as this. So we've got 2 over 8, so 2 is 2 times 1. Yeah, so 2 times 1 and 2 times 4. So I can cancel out the 2's. Right? But you should know that 2 eighths is the same as 1 quarter or 1 fourth, alright? 
Okay, so that's that first one. Right? The second one here, we have no numbers involved. Okay? What we've got to do is we've got to remember what the powers mean. So a to the power 5 means it's going to be a times a times a times a times a. Okay, so 5a is multiplied together. Right? So a times a times a times a times a. 5. Okay? And then on the bottom, we've got a cubed and a to the power 3, so that's 3 of them, 3 of those a's. Okay, so, next step. We can't just cancel everything because it's all a's. We've got to take 3 from the top because there's 3 in the bottom. Okay, so I know that I can go, okay, 1 here. So that's going to make 1. And that's going to make 1. And that's going to make 1. Okay, so we've got a times a, a times a, a times a. Okay, leaving me with a multiplied by a in the top. You should know that that's equal to a squared. Okay? Awesome. Right. So, let's do one more example. Okay? So we'll do one more, right? Because I think we'll get this now. squared q all over 2q. Alright, so I'm going to write it out in terms of factors first of all. Okay, that's what I was understand. Eventually we won't really need to do this part. Okay, we'll get this kind of like in our heads a little bit more. But when we're starting out, it's really important we do this. Okay, so we're going to go p multiplied by p multiplied by q. Okay, and then this time I'm going to work 2 Okay, excellent. So, got P multiplied by P. Looking for P's in the denominator here. There's none. Okay, so we can't cancel any P's. Right? We can only cancel what's at the top and the bottom because I know, okay, Q over Q is 1. So I can cancel that out. Okay, because Q over Q is 1, I can cancel that out. So that's going to leave me P times P all over 2, and that's effectively saying multiplied by 1. And we know that if we multiply something by 1, it doesn't change the number. Okay? So, p times p all over 2, I can rewrite that as p squared over 2, like so. Alright? I hope that has made some sense, okay? Um, try the quiz, right? And what I'll do is, we'll look at the quiz results tomorrow and we'll kind of like assess where we are. Um, and we'll maybe do some more examples in class. If not, please go back, rewind the video, look at it again, um, make sure it makes sense to you. Remember, it's basically forming around this concept of you've got to cancel the same thing from the top line and the bottom line. And the reason why you do that is because, like here, Q over Q is 1, A over A is 1. Okay, it doesn't matter what the, the letter or the number is, if you get the same thing divided by the same thing, you get 1 all the time. 15 divided by 15 is 1. 18 divided by 18, 1. Okay? And it's all centred round okay, this concept here of simplifying um, regular fractions by writing them out in terms of the factors and then being able to cancel numbers like this. So this is an example we know, this is something we already know how to do. Okay, This is the new part, so make sure you've got the note copied into your jotter, make sure you do the quiz for tomorrow. Okay, see you then.